Well, hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mike, and I'm back again with another cruise vlog. And today's topic is food on a cruise. And, you know, when I'm moving about on social media, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, whatnot, whatnot I always see different questions about, uh, you know, what what's included in the cost of uh, the cruise as far as eating. Uh, do I have to pay extra for this or that? And so I thought I'd make a little quick video today to try to help clear up the confusion. And so let's get right to it. So the way uh, I'm going to break this down is uh, uh, complimentary food options, which is the food that's included with the cost of your cruise, and specialty dining options, which are, uh, you know, other options that you're going to have to pay an additional cost uh, for. So let's start with the complimentary options. And so typically, uh, no matter what cruise line you're sailing with, you're going to have a main dining room and you're going to have the buffet. So what's the difference? Well, main dining room is uh, basically a sit-down style uh, restaurant option. And, uh, you know, you, you check in, uh, you're seated at a table, you're given a menu, and you order off the menu you want. And so now, the other, way, the other option uh, is the buffet. And, I, you know, we've all been to buffets, I'm sure, and it's simply what it sounds like. You know, you show up during the meal, whichever meal you're going to eat, go right in, grab a plate, and you can sit wherever you want. And so it's, it's a good option for, for the people that, you know, they're not very picky. They just want to go grab, get something to eat when they're, when they're hungry, and they want to sit wherever they want. So... Uh, so, like I said, those two options, the main dining room, the buffet, that's covered in the cost of your ticket. Uh, now, there are, depending on the cruise line, there might be some other additional uh, venues uh, that are also complimentary. And they're, they're usually kind of similar to like fast food options. So, like, for example, on Carnival, you know, you got Guy's Burgers, uh, you got Guy's Pig and Anchor, you got... Uh, the blue iguana. And so those are additional, uh, options for you to go to, you know, if you don't want to eat the main dining room and you don't want to eat the buffet, you know, you can go just grab a burger at guy's burger it's free of charge. And, uh, you know, it's just something, just a little something extra to, to give you just one more option. Uh, also, uh, you know, pizza places. I think most cruise lines have a, have a late night pizza option. So, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. Now, the other category that I was going to talk about is the specialty dining category. And like I say, these are additional uh, restaurants, additional venues on the ship where you're going to, you can eat there, but you're going to have to pay an additional uh, cost. Uh, you may have to book it ahead of time. Um, you know, I recommend if you're one of those people that's interested in trying some of the specialty dining options, um, you know, I, I recommend doing it as far in advance as you can. Uh, now you can, once you get on the ship, you can book it when you're on the ship, but you know, the problem you run into there is availability. And I know I've been on cruises where, uh, I tried to check, I tried to book a specialty dining once I got on the ship and everything was booked for the whole seven day cruise. So, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a gamble if you wait. Um, so like I say, it's probably, you know, it's, it's always a good idea to try to book things in advance and with the specialty dining, I mean, they have different types. They have steak houses, they have sushi places, Italian restaurants, uh, seafood restaurants. So, you know, it's just, it kind of gives you uh, a different option. You know, if you're, if you're wanting a really good steak or if you want some sushi, something like that. And, you know, it, it's just kind of a special little thing that you can do, try out some different foods, some different uh, experiences. And so I think I pretty much covered most of the items uh, in, in regards to food. And as always, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to drop them in the comments section. Uh, I try to do my best to answer uh, every, every question I get, every comment. So uh, feel free to do that. And that's going to do it for today's video. 
I hope you guys uh, found this information useful. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well. And I hope you're out there enjoying life. And with that, I'll say goodbye and I will see you around the way. Thank you.